Hello, my name is Laba. Hi, everyone. This is Ao Miu, and welcome to the Bomi Speaking Course Intermediate. So, this is going to be the very first section. It's a section one. It's about different types of pronoun in Bomi's. So, in this lessons, I am going to focus on the subject pronoun. So, there might be like you know different pronoun, right? Something like object pronoun, possessive pronoun, and some special pronoun as well. So, in this lessons. I am going to teach you subject pronouns in Burmese. So let's get started. So there are like a three part here: first person, second person, and third person. Okay, so let's start with the first person. So if I say "channo," "channo," right? "Channo," it's a I. This is the male speaker used formal one. This is speaker, right? Yeah, male speaker formal. "Channo." It's a channo, right? Yeah, it's more like the cha sound as well. I can say channo. Channo, I male speaker formal. It's a used by the male speaker, right? Yeah. So another one, the in uh the the female speaker, it's going to be chama. Maybe I can say this way as well. Chama. Chama. It's also I. This is used by the female speaker formal way. So male speaker, maybe I can say channo. The female speaker, chama. Channa, chama. Okay, now it's going to be the informal. We have an informal as well. So, like you know, this is used with the friends or like in you know, a colleague or like you know the people who are younger than you. You can go with na. It's a na. It's like ng sound, right? Na, na. It's a i. Okay, this is the na, right? Yeah, na i. But this one can be used by both male, female. It's a informal na. Nga, right? Yeah. So, channa, chama. This one, nga. Okay. Now it's going to be the plural. So it's easy. Channa, we know that it's a I, but this one, channa, do. By adding the do particle, that make it plural. We channa do, channa do. It's a formal, right? Because we still use the channa, right? Formal. The male speaker formal, I can say, right? Yeah. Okay. So channa do. The same thing. Chamado by adding the do, right? So it's a V female speaker. Chamado, V. It's going to be the female speaker. The previous one, Chamado. This one, Chamado. Okay, now informal. The same thing. We can add the do particle. Ngado, right? Ngado. That's going to be V. Male, female, both can used. It's going to be the informal like this. Okay, so the first person, Chamo, Chama, Nga. Chenado, chamado, ngado. The do, it's the do. It's a plural particle. I can say it right. That make it the plural. V. Okay, now let's go to second person. So this is, I think, like you know, you understand this. If I say male speaker, this is used by the male speaker. Right? In Bomi, is the pronoun. It doesn't depends on the other people. It depends on the speaker. So cheno, I. I'm the speaker, so channa I can use the all the time. So I never need to use the chama because the chama used by the female speaker, right? Yeah. So the female speaker always like you know have to use the channa for the formal way, informal way. It's going to be nga like this. Yeah, the nga can be used by both, right? Male, female. Okay. Now let's go to second person. So let's start with the like the male speaker kamya. This is a little high tone kamya. Kamya, it's a U. The same thing, male speaker, formal one. Kamya, kamya, right? Yeah. Okay, so kamya, it's a U, male speaker, formal. Another one, uh, the male speaker, informal one. Me, and is a bit soft. I can say me. The previous one, kamya. This one, me. This is also high tone, right? Yeah. U, male speaker, informal way, used by the male speaker, right? Yeah. So there are two words, kamya and me. Kamya is a male speaker formal. Me is going to be the you male speaker informal. Okay, the same thing. This is going to be for the female speaker shame. For female speaker, it's not the high tone. You see, it's a normal tone shame. Shame. It's a you. This is used by the female speaker, right? Yeah, the female speaker and formal way I can say. So this is shame. Another way, the same female speaker informal one. It's going to be ne. This is an I N. The N is a bit soft, right? You see, we don't pronounce, we don't stress on that, right? Just ne, she, and ne. This is the U female speaker informal way. Okay, this is going to be the second person. 
Kamya me. These two these two pronounce are high tone, right? Yeah. And shen ne. Yeah, you know that, right? The Burmese has a tone, so there are four tones in Burmese. So this one we call high tone. Kamya me. This one the normal tone. Shen ne. Okay, now it's going to be the third person. Third person is easy because tu, if I say tu, it can be used for he and the she as well. It depends on the context we understand. Tu. But it can be the it as well. I can say it. Tu. Ta sound, right? Tu. It's a normal tone. Tu. And to make it plural, they. Right? They. It's going to be, you see, tu do. By adding the do particle, that's going to be they. Tu do. So tu can be used for he, she, it, and tu do, it's going to be de, right, yeah. So third person is easy, only two words, tu, he, she, it, tu do, it's going to be de. Okay, so this is the, like, you know, the subject pronoun we talk, right? Now, let's try the, like, you know, the pronunciation, okay. So for first person, channa, I, male speaker formal, right, channa, female speaker, Nga, this is the sound is like N G A, not N A, right? Not na, right? It's a nga. Nga, right, yeah. Another one chanado by adding the do particle, it's going to be the plural, right? Chanado, chamado, and ngado. Okay, so for the first person we have a, like a formal and informal way. The same thing it applies for the second person as well, right? Yeah. So kamya, the formal one, may it's going to be informal. So this is about the male speaker. This, the, the female speaker is going to be she and ne. Third, pers third person is easy because we don't have an informal formal, right? It's already, I can say, formal. Tu and tu do. Okay, so this is the subject pronoun we learn, right? Okay, so what is like, okay, we, we know like, you know, these kind of pronoun, right? Then what is really the subject pronoun, right? The subject pronoun means like, you know, we use in the subject place. It means in the starting. For example, let's say, how do you say I am fine? So I am fine, you can say channa as a formal way, right? Channa ne kaun de, right? I can say this way. So here I am going to use the sub, I start the sentence with a subject. So that's we call like in a subject pronoun. These all the subject pronoun can be used in the starting of the sentence, I can say, right? Yeah, channa ne kaun de, right? Yeah. If I, okay, so channa ne kaun de. That's going to be I am fine. Then how do you say like, you know, let's try with a different pronoun. I would like to say like a we, are going home some sentence like this so we maybe this time let's try we as a female speaker because the channa previously we try as a male this time the female speaker saying so you can say the female speaker we let's try the informal so that's going to be chamado right yeah so chamado for home it's a a tua nere right yeah so chamado it's a we a it's a home Tuane day, it's going to be going. So we are going home, right? Chamado in Tuane day. The previous one, Chanone count day. Okay, then how about like, you know, something like I am saying they, okay, let's say maybe they finish, they have finished their work or like this. They have finished their work. They have finished work. So they, to do, to do, although it's a work. PB it's a finished. This is like the present perfect particle, right? To do allow PB. To do allow PB. They have finished work. Okay, this is how you can use the the pronouns in the sentence. Because this is we are talking about the subject pronoun, that's why we all start in the beginning, right? Yeah. So Chanone Kaunde, I am fine. Chamado ain't one day. We are going home. Ain't a home. Twa it's a go. Nade make it ing going right the tense particle and here to do allow pb to do it's a day allow it's a work the pb finished have finished it's like a one of the tense particle that's we commonly use for the present perfect they have finished work already to do allow pb okay yeah in this lessons we learn the the subject pronouns in Burmese right yeah okay thank you very much yeah i hope this is easy to understandable for you yeah Thank you. Cheers to Timbare.